Good morning, good morning. I'm um, today is different. Today, uh, today is not uh, a normal cruising with Rabs. Today is an episode from the desert. We've been shooting in Jeepers Edition in a Jeepers Edition car for a few weeks now, thanks to them. Thanks for building this uh, gladiator. Today, the marshals invited me to join the trip, and they're having a marshal day out. So today we'll find out who are the marshals behind Jeepers Edition Social, what do they do, how do they spend their weekends, how do they work with all the Jeepers members. Today I'm cruising with Gary. You get to know Gary in a few seconds. I'm following them into the starting point. There are about uh, 12 or 13 marshals and uh, Gary is the head marshal. So we're going in and uh, he'll be with us in a few seconds. Enjoy the ride until we get to the starting point. All the marshals are now ready. They've deflated, they're in. It's very challenging for me. I'm going out with the marshals, the best of the best in the UAE with Jeepers Edition. So it's gonna be challenging for me, but Gary, the head of all marshals is gonna be in the car. Definitely I'm gonna have some uh, tips and advices. He's gonna give me a hard time because he's not easy. So Gary, come on in. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Overworked, underpaid. <laughs> Same as usual. Yep. Not unlike you. Gary, welcome to Cruising with Rabs. Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to have you. It's an honor to be here. We've heard so much about you. Good, I hope. Great stuff. <laughs> He's not easy. So <laughs> many of you are used to me talking in Arabic. I might pass some Arabic stuff to explain a few things. We're getting ready. They're calling us out on the radio. So Gary, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> This is, gonna, <laughs> this is hopefully going to go smooth. So, do I go, stuck. do I stay? I, I shouldn't get stuck. That's don't embarrassing. Get stuck. Don't get stuck. <laughs> no, if you just wait until the convoy heads off. The great. Convoy is about to go, so let's go, guys. Russell will stay behind you. Okay. Stay behind us, please. I heard a yes, right? Yeah. Okay, off we go. Four wheel drive. Yes. Traction control off. Yes. <laughs> I'm nervous. Fingers crossed. I hate being a passenger. <laughs> How, when was the last time you were a passenger? If you guys see the cam outside, his car is parked right there, so we're leaving it there because he's riding with me. Uh, I hope we come back and pick it up soon. <laughs> Gary, Sorry. how long have you been in the UAE? Um, 11 years almost now. 11 years on this trip. And you're from? From London, from England, London. Um, the center of the universe. And what brings you to the UAE? Initially work, um, although I've been coming here since the late 80s. Um, I was transferred here by the company I was working for at the time. Yes. Um, nice. Yeah, no, it was good. So Married? I was given an option. Married? Yes? Um, yeah, I have been. Several times. Several times? Several times. If I do anything wrong, please tell me. Uh, you did. I did the well. It's okay. We're still moving. Okay. First mistake out. So, uh, we're about to uh, get into the Marshall Drive today. This is not gonna, this is gonna be so challenging for me. Hopefully we don't get stuck. It's gonna be challenging for me. And for you too. Uh, how did you get to know Jeepers? Are you an outdoor person initially? Um, I've always been an outdoor person. Okay. Uh, and I've always been into cars. Yeah. So I used to race cars many years ago. Oh, nice. Came to the UAE and used to have to go back to Europe to race. 
um, once a month and it was getting tiring. Okay. Um, so I needed something that would sort of replace the adrenaline. Went to Oman, um, Fred said, let's go into the desert. I thought he was joking. Um, and we ended up going into the Wahiba Desert in Oman. Yes. And that was it, and got the bug. You got stuck. Um, and then really had to find a Jeep because everyone told me a Jeep was the best thing to buy for playing in the desert. A Jeep Wrangler? A Jeep Wrangler, yeah. Um, so I went around various companies to see what they could do. I had a speck of what I was wanting. That's it. Round again and build up momentum. There? Okay. Straight up. Uh, no, we're going to have a hard time today. Why do you think the car is slowing down the way up? Hold on. For example, Nizar, hold ahead. And we've got second or third or fourth attempt. Go down behind where Neil is. And Neil is the red guy. Yeah, and come up behind um, Russell. You need a, a good run up for this. Neil, you can go. Nizar, can you hear me? Wow, look at that. He has a supercharger, right? Yeah, that's the supercharge. It's exciting. And Russell's is his Rubicon with lots of. We are ready. Please wait for us, Nizar. We are coming. Three cars here. Good. Okay, you want speed. What are you in? One. Um, yeah, you want to build up speed to climb. And you want to head past where um, all that dirt is, yes. So speed. Cool. Okay. Okay, Nizan, we're on our way. Woo! Okay, so Jeepers. So yeah, so we went around various um, Jeep modification places to see what they could offer. And I met Haider, which is Nizar's, Nizar's brother. brother. Um, and he talked me into buying B, which is the Jeep that I still drive. So the I've yellow had, Jeep, the yeah. famous yellow Jeep. So I've had that for, I've been driving for about four and a half years now. Four and a half? Yeah, four and a half, five years. The B is a famous car amongst the Jeepers Edition club. Check it out on Instagram. In the description, I'm gonna be putting the, his account details and you he has a beautiful piece of car yeah it's a one of one it is one of one it's a specially built uh, Wrangler it doesn't exist anywhere else and it's for Gary it's for me yes Gary how do you spend your weekends um in the desert in the desert basically yeah. so you met Jeepers Edition you became part of the crew the group yeah it was um when I first joined Jeepers it was more just a group of friends going out to drive yes. to have fun um, and then as Jeep has started expanding accelerate hard as Jeep has started expanding more and more people wanted to go into the desert um, in the UAE sorry in the UAE people started getting to the desert drives more and more yeah um, mainly because Jeepers Edition really went crazy. Um, they were selling lots every month. Yep. Um, and it really needed then a formalized way of driving in the desert, people of similar skills, and Jeepers Social came really on. started probably seriously about three years ago. So you started when Jeepers Social started? Yeah, I was one of the people, um, together with Nizar um, and Kevin, who's here today, that really started planning um, drives, yep. um, grading people, um, so that similar people of similar skill sets were driving together. Um, and then it just expanded and expanded, nice. expanded. The How marshals. many members today? Um, at the moment, about 470. Nice. 
Um, we about parked 25 not because modules. of me. A few guys got uh, stuck there and there, so I'm safe till now. <laughs> yeah, that's a supercharger. Supercharger. Yeah. What you want to do is not go straight up because you might not make it. So go as high as you can, but then go left and then come back onto the track that's over there. Like what? Okay. Yeah. So exactly the same as they're doing. Almost yeah, 470, so we're hitting 500 soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the year, probably, or even before that, yeah. Um, yeah, we should get to 500 before the end of the year. Active people, um, that's not 500 going out every week. Of every course. week we have drives for different categories. I think we average about six drives a weekend now. Wow. Every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and each drive has around 15, right? 15 cars, 12 to 15 average? Um, it used to be, but we've dropped it um, because it's easier to work with small groups. So every group now is 10 um, plus marshals, uh, maximum three marshals, but normally two. It's very important to know the reason why is because as we spoke about this before, and Nizar mentioned, it's not about how many people goes out, it's about how much attention you can give to the people who are enjoying the road. Go to the left. Now? Okay, yeah, very good. Very bumpy. Yeah, so it's, it's all about the attention. Um, it's about giving them attention, uh, the, the care, taking care of their cars. What makes us, I think, what do you think makes us different between many other clubs? Uh, two things. I know it is, but I want to hear from you. Um, I mean, the main difference is we are pure Jeep Wrangler. Um, only? Yeah, only. We don't allow any other vehicle. It's only Jeepers edition, so um, from a marshalling aspect and from tuition aspect, the marshals know exactly what a Jeep Wrangler can or cannot do. Yes. Whereas if we were in um, another club, um, it's a mixture of vehicles and you've got different driving levels, but you've also got different capability of vehicles. So the biggest plus for the Jeepers um, members, I suppose, and the people that are doing the tuition is we know what it can do. Nice. So we're confident about the vehicle, then we have to bring up the individual's confidence to match the ability of the vehicle. Amazing. And uh, today, so we set six drives a weekend almost, uh, 10 to 12 per drive. How many marshals are in your group today? Um, at the moment, we've got about 25. 25. Um, is it easy to become a marshal? Can I get a marshal? Okay. No. Seeing what you've just done, definitely not. No, <laughs> I'll work for it. <laughs> um, no, it's not. It's, I mean, there's two criteria for marshals. Um, it's not only about driving. No, yeah, that, that's the difference, I suppose. Um, so when... Right, Sandy's going on a different line, as always. The man is that one down there. So don't follow Sandy. Bad Sandy. Yeah. Um, now, the criteria for Marshall is when Nizar and myself look at um, who could be or should be. Um, one is driving skill because they've got to be a good driver. They don't have to be an amazing driver, just a solid, good, steady driver. Yep. Um, but the important thing for us, because we have so many different nationalities, so much, so many different. Cultures, um, ages, cultures, um, everything else is how we talk to people. Um, one is explaining um, how to drive, so it's going into detail about things that they should do, could do, should be doing. Um, and another one is um, the fun factor, because that's the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, don't follow Sandy's lines, follow the main yeah, line. Yeah. Um, is to have fun, um, which is the biggest part of Jeepers Social. It's not just about driving in the desert, it's, it's chilling. A lot of people do it to get away from all the weekly stress, the work, week. exactly. Running away from your wives and family. I've done it a few times, <laughs> only wives. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a complete chill out, if you like. Um, so the marshals are the ones that are instrumental in promoting the fun factor, driving skills, the learning, uh, and everything else that goes on with Jeepers. 
and uh, I believe Gary is the orchestra. Behind it all. Yeah, for my sins, I'm the. So you plan the, the trip. You manage the the marshals, make sure everything's on time, update the the grading. So let's talk about quickly about the grading system. How do you? I mean, when you join Jeepers Social, you start being you are a one star beginner. Yes, that is. The, the very basic. Um, we've got beginners, intermediates, advanced, and then experts. And even if someone comes and tells you, hey, I'm an expert, you tell them, just come in Don't and care. I'll judge. Don't care. You don't um, care. You start properly. One thing the UAE has taught me. Um, the UAE? And a lot of the people in the UAE. <laughs> yes. Is that egos play a huge part of an individual's makeup. Um, and most people, in fact, I think it's just about everybody that joins Jeepers say, no, I've been in the desert before. Okay, let's give you one basic Task. lesson and then see how you get on. And nearly all of them um, don't make it. Don't make it. <laughs> Basically, because we do things slightly different. Jeepers drive differently to everybody else. Oh, we're being cool. By, we're about uh, to uh, say hi to Nizar. So uh, we're He's taking. Driving. I am driving. All right, all right. I'm right. doing well so like far. I think. How much out of ten? Let's tell everyone. I normally have a suntan, but I'm pale white now. <laughs> There's no blood <laughs> left in your face. <laughs> how much out of ten? Is driving's okay actually? Yeah. Yeah. Step it up. Okay. Cool. No, don't. No. I was joking. <laughs> don't. So I, I was thinking of increasing the dose, but no. Almost. No. We're almost. We're almost there. We're, we're almost there. I'm, I'm we're doing great. As it is. Okay. You see, all the marshals here are, are like super duper experts, and I'm and like I'm slowing I'm them itching. down. I'm itching. I want, I want to drive. <laughs> they will, they're gonna, I'm going to be leaving them soon, but they were almost done. That direction. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to pick my Jeep up. Okay. <laughs> he, oh, gave up right. he gave up on me directly. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a couple of rounds here. Yeah. We'll go back so, uh, I got a good grade, so guys, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we've we've got the beginner category, so everyone has to go through the beginner yes. categories. Um, beginner, and it's one star, two star, three star beginners. Three star. Okay, the level increases dependent on the star. Um, if they make it through the beginner phase, and most people do, um, because they get the bug, and yes. the bug is driving in the desert. It's adrenaline, um, but it's having fun. It's not about how many drives you do; it's about how good you are. At driving, that's how you grade them by stars. Yeah, and weirdly enough, a lot of the women actually come on quicker than the guys because women tend to. I listen. heard. Yeah, which is news to me. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Having been married a few times, I always thought women didn't listen, but ours do. All right, and uh, right, you, you do the grading. Right up and off to the right. Sandy's doing his own thing again. Off to the right. Sandy's giving us a hard time. Uh, and you do the grading on a weekly basis based on the reports you get from the marshals, correct? Yeah, so um, after every drive, the marshals that attended the drive um, complete a score sheet. And the score sheet's seven disciplines, which includes um, throttle, steering, control, nice. um, cresting, side slopes, etc. And depending on their scores, it depends on whether a person gets upgraded. It helps us then look at an individual, uh, because if an individual is struggling in a certain area yeah. um, that we it. classify as important, um, then the marshal for the next drive can actually pull one of the drivers aside and say, right, based on your last, this is what we're going to look at. So there's, there is one-to-one -one attention paid. It's not just about... A, a lot of people going into the desert and going crazy. Um, although we're on Marshall's drive, so this is where Today we go crazy. Today is your day out, so you're yeah. having fun. But I mean, even even Jeepers crazy day out is so nice. We don't break cars. I mean, we take care of our cars. We enjoy the desert. We enjoy the rides. Understanding how to off-road, I believe. But the important thing for us is safety. Um, and safety comes before everything. It has to, um, and that's the main criteria. So even if we are going crazy in the desert, we're doing it daytime or nighttime safely. Safely. You do night drives too, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice place, huh? 
Swayhan's lovely. This is where we bring. Um, so we're in Swayhan, Abu Dhabi, right? I guess. Yeah. So this is where the intermediates come. Okay. Um, beginners, we tend to stay closer to Dubai. Um, could drive. Oh, so Dayan. even in locations, it's based on levels. Yeah. So where do the experts go? Liwa. 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 Liwa is heaven for off-roading. Um, dunes. Colors. Up to 200 meters high. What? Um, drops. And we were there a couple of weeks ago, so the biggest drop we did on that particular trip was 186 meters straight down, angle of 40 degrees. And quick question, what's, what's the highest dune you've ever been? Oman, 455 meters. You've been up? Up. Oh, it takes an hour and a half to get up. Okay, so it's not a straight line. You can't straight line it. <clears throat> Even coming down, you can't straight line it coming down because there's lots of dunes to get to the, the uh, crest. But yeah, wow. 455. What's the most memorable adventure you've ever done in the UAE with Jeepers? It wasn't in the UAE. <laughs> it was in the UAE. <laughs> no, one of the trips because it's not just about desert driving. It's, it's about going to lots of other places um, and taking Jeepers to a, a different level for different experiences. Yes. Um, and a couple of years ago, we um, organized a trip to Oman. To Oman. So we transported our jeeps down to Oman by transporter. Nice. Flew down to Salala to pick them up and then took eight days to drive back up. Wow. Um, and it was a tight group of jeepers, families. So it wasn't just the guys going out having fun. Uh, and it was amazing. I've been to Oman lots of times, but a lot of the jeepers haven't. More to the left. Perfect. Done. Oh. The golden question. There are some bubbles. When there are dunes and you're driving on a dune, yeah. and then it goes, it dips downwards. What's the advice you have for everyone? Because always people ask, do I go against it? Do I go with it? Pray. <laughs> I now have belief in just about every god that existed. You, um, you heard them all, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in all religions. All religions. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I mean, there's, there's, there's certain rules that we drill into the jeepers. Okay. And if someone is having a problem, can't make a climb, turn down. Turn down, right? So um, go with it, but never against it. Never against it. Um, that's where people can seriously damage not just the jeeps but themselves as well. That's how um, you can flip a car. Yeah, absolutely. So, from a beginner's point of view, we drill it into them on a weekly basis. Um, I love the structure. Safety. Every few seconds, we, we park, we talk, we check on if it's in each other. Everyone's behind each other, and I think this is one of the specialities in how you guys run Jeep Social. Yeah, I mean it, it's. I and mean, some people um, that are now driving perhaps with other clubs don't like the structure. They just want to go crazy. But we follow convoys. Um, obviously, this is a marshal's drive, so everyone goes a bit mad. But on a normal Jeepers drive, the marshals are the ones that tell everybody what to do. And people have to follow the rules. And one of them is we follow a convoy. There's a line. Yes. And the leaders of which there are a few, <clears throat> are trained to take the right lines, make it as smooth as possible. You um, use this radio to communicate with each other? Yeah. Every Jeeper's uh, owner gets one when they get into the desert? Yep. And uh, how, I mean, what kind of talks do you, what, what information do you convey through the radio throughout the drive? Nine times out of ten, it's the marshals talking to each other. Um, the lead marshal is the one that sets the pace. Um, he's the one that's trying to figure out where to go or where not to go. Um, Ooh, someone got does. an issue. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, reverse right hand down. Hang on, Nizar. I love, I love this. The, 
super nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the marshals are the ones that are communicating between each other just to make sure everything's okay. The jeepers are told from um, the very beginning, if you have a problem, on the radio straight away to tell the marshal that you've got a problem. Um, Who's this? This is one of the support marshals. So to become a marshal, you start off as a support marshal. Okay. So there's a situation, everybody's monitoring, everybody's trying to understand what's happening. It's nothing major, it's just that they're monitoring how the supporting marshal is handling the situation. So the support marshals, which that was one of them just got stuck. Um, they're the ones that are sort of joining convoys, yeah. but they don't actively do anything. They're just watching and listening to what the marshals do. So there's a fair bit of tuition that goes into um, the support marshals before they can become a marshal. And not everybody makes it. Some people go, no, it's, it's not something I want to do. It's a bit too much for me. Or, yeah, yeah absolutely amazing. I really want to be more involved. And the marshals really run what's going on um, on every drive. And most of the communication is through radios. Gary? We stop yeah. every... Oh, it's super soft up there. Right, your line is more to the left. So the line you want to take is where the track is now. Keep to the left, which is more compacted sand, uh, because you'll be making your own mark and then go as high as possible and then sweep right. Okay. Because you can see that he's trying to go on the track. Oh, it's Nicola, he's got a supercharged tube, so he should be able to make it. Um, but he's going on the track. Uh, and the track's cut up, so you're losing traction. Great. Gary, they say you're not an easy person. Me? No, I'm... I think the Jeepers are not easy people. Um, it's not easy to manage all those people too. Not different. with all the different personalities. Exactly. Um, no, I'm I'm very easy. People know where they stand with me because I say what I think. Um, Are you easy to impress? No. <laughs> I've heard some stories. <laughs> well, it depends. Blonde, blue eyes. <laughs> um, maybe, but that's not you. So, I, no, no. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> On another note, uh, what is the most challenging uh, situation or moment you've ever encountered throughout uh, your desert drives? Something that has always been there. Challenging. Challenging. You can say, let's say a good one and a bad one. So pick one. Well, the bad pick one is when someone has a serious accident. Um, and it happens. Yeah. Um, I mean, within Jeepers, in four years, I don't know how many thousands of drives we've done. Um, because it is in the thousands. Um, and thousands of jeepers that we've taken out. We've had one or two accidents, thankfully no injuries, but yep. badly damaged jeeps. jeeps. Um, and I would say 99.9% .9 of the time it's because they haven't done what they were taught. And the turn down rule is the major factor where somebody gets into a serious situation. And if they try to fight something that's movable, which is sand, they're going to lose every time. Um, so, from a bad point, I think one or two accidents that we've had where yeah. really they should have known better, and you then try to analyze why didn't they do what they've been taught to do. Okay. And all the marshals on any drive that something like that happens feel really bad. Um, and as a leader, because I lead most of the drives that I'm on, um, you then analyze, should I have taken a different line? Should I have gone a different tune? Do I understand the level of the individuals behind me, um, things like that. So that's the bad one. The good one, to be honest, I don't think there's one stand out. I think they're all stand out. Because from a, this is fun. This is Marshall's going crazy. So we're going out to have fun. But on a weekly, yeah, your turn, keep to the left. Um, on a weekly basis, it's, it's seeing, Right, right? Yep. Follow the line. 
Yeah. It's just gone. <laughs> just here. Yeah. So no, on a weekly basis, it's go oh. or right. You won't go up there. Yeah, I have to um, you'll have to go, go down some there. So exactly what he's doing, but stop here. Okay. Because what you want to do is then accelerate and climb a bit. So with that um, second, the highest piece of camel grass is. That one? Yeah, miss the lower one because that's going to hurt you. Um, just past the lower and then go heavy down. clump of camel grass and turn and accelerate up. Ah. Okay. Uh, that was a bumpy one. Very good. Right. And pull it around to the right. And drop, then it goes left. That was a hot one. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Yeah. Um, but no, the weekly, it's, it's, it's just a joy to... One is, is being out in the desert. I mean, that's on a weekly basis. I love it. It's an ever-changing landscape. It's just beautiful. Um, and when we stop and everyone switches off their engine, you just hear silence. It's peace and quiet and it, it's heaven. It is. But also seeing the development of individuals. And we've had people come to us as jeepers. Start as a one-star beginner. Get out of the jeep within half an hour um, when we have a chat and they're shaking, they're sweating, they can't do it by their own admission. Also, you've, you've faced people that couldn't do it. I mean, it was challenging for them, they gave up on it or? They didn't give up. They, again, you, you talk to them and you show them what the Jeep can do and you build their confidence. And you see some of these people come through. Um, I mean, one of the marshals, I remember his first drive so well where he was literally a mess, sweating, shaking, um, and he became a marshal. Nice. So anybody can do it. It's just having confidence in themselves. And learning and it properly. Joy. And learning it properly, of course. I won't say we do everything right, but I think we're probably one of the best at teaching people how to drive in the desert. Someone um, stuck here. Yeah. Not a jeepers. Not a jeepers. So, no, we've got some locals. Yeah, we're stuck. Well, not some locals. We've got some, and uh, being the ethical kind of jeepers we are, we always park, check up on them, see what's happening. Uh, the heat, I mean, it's 33 today. That's pretty cool. It's not bad. Not bad. I expect it to be hotter. It uh, will be We nice. can't hear any right? Yeah. Anyway, you could jump start. Well, just start the car without jump start, no? So you met Nizar through Jeepers? Yeah, I met his brother first. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then obviously Nizar being the owner of Jeepers. And what do you do besides Jeepers in the UAE? Hey guys, so uh, everyone here? That all back together. Yes, Nizar, you are nice. I moved here as I've been involved. Okay. You want to head to your vehicle now? It's not my decision. I'm. Um, the passenger, <laughs> my taxi driver is going to answer that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was working now. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're almost 35 minutes, so. Yeah, we're good. Straight ahead to his vehicle and we'll follow him. Okay, we'll follow you. You can go ahead. Um, I'm not driving. <laughs> so I'll follow you. <laughs> um, no, I came out here as um, a commercial director with um, a recruitment company. Okay. Um, and I was responsible for Middle East, Russia, um, Europe, and South America. Um, but the UAE was because it was predominantly oil and gas industry I was involved in, the Middle East was going to come out of the recession, which is when I, I came here. Oh, you came um, after the crisis? 
quicker than anybody else. So when everyone was leaving, you came back. Yeah, the the board back in London said, "Where do you want to be?" And I said, "Well, UAE is probably the easiest place to be." Um, one, I knew it well because I've been coming here for a lot longer than I've lived here. Um, and two, it's easy to travel around the world from the UAE, so it, it just made it a perfect location. On a personal level, besides jeepers and work, what do you like and what do you enjoy doing? Um, cooking. Oh. Um, I love. Um, I initially, when I got kicked out of school, literally, um, I became a chef. So I trained as a chef. Nice. Um, and spent a few years in catering before getting involved in industrial relations and HR. Um, and then HR really took over, and that's how I got into the recruitment industry. Nice. Um, so food has always been a passion, um, still from either cooking or... Do you cook till now? Sorry? Do you still cook? I still love cooking, yeah. I absolutely adore it. And most of my friends still seem to be alive, so... We're going to pick... I'm okay. We're going to pick two or three marshals quickly to ride and talk to me. Who do you want to pick? Um, and what do you want me to ask them? What they think about you? I'd, ask, I'd actually ask them about the journey from where they became just a normal, normal jeeper to they are now marshals. Done. Um, and they're the people that are, are really leading because this is voluntary. We don't get paid. We do it for the fun of not just driving in the desert, which we're all fanatical about, yeah. um, but also showcasing what we do and how we do it. Um, so today, just to clarify, all the marshals do it from the heart voluntarily. They go out every week, they help, they stand with Jeepers Social and uh, train and take out all those drivers for the fun of it, for the love of the hobby itself and uh, with their own cars at their own expenses and uh, that's how much jeepers lets you fall in love uh, with them gary three people who are we going to pick now um i would pick a support marshal and two marshals so i would pick rami rami who's a new support marshal okay um he's just coming up through the rank how long he's been with us rami's been driving well for, i think for about three years nice um neil who's a new marshal um, so he was made marshal about three months ago, I think. Um, so he's in the red jeep, guy with the glasses, standing right in front of us. And Kevin. Kevin? Kevin I've driven with since almost my first day. Um, and he's probably the best driver in jeepers, apart from Nizar. Wow, you hear that? Um, I'm about to meet Kevin then. He's awesome. We'll He's keep awesome. to the last. We'll start with the... I like the the way you picked them, so we'll take care of that. Yeah, Gary? So He's the oldest, as in oldest with Jeepers, and then the two newbies. Thank you very it much. It was my pleasure. I wasn't as scared as I thought I would be. <laughs> I wasn't bad. Come on, now grade me out of 10. <laughs> um, I'd give you a 7. Thank you very much. That's, that's a, a good one. One star beginner. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you. Have a beautiful day. And you. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, take okay. care. Thank you. So uh, now Rami is, you see there, they give me a cupcake. So I'm going to take a cupcake right now. Thank you so much. Welcome. This is who Jeepers Social, this is who Jeepers is all about. We're about to, uh, Rami is going to come in. Rami is a support marshal, as uh, Gary mentioned. So he's going to take us quickly through his journey. Rami, come on in. Hi, Rami. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, good. This was unplanned. It is? Unplanned. Yes. <laughs> so welcome to Cruising with Rabs. And uh, we just had a, a nice cruise. We're not going to go anywhere, so if you want, you can keep this. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we were with Gary. He gave us an overall uh, description of how Jeeper Social work, how does it operate. And uh, he, I asked him to pick three people, and he picked you to be the first one. So I'm the lucky one. Eh? You're the lucky man. <laughs> Support Marshal. Yes. How long has it been? Uh, it's been probably about a couple of weeks now. Amazing. Yeah. And how long have you been with Jeepers? Uh, I have been with Jeepers longer, so probably since the quite close to the beginning of the pandemic, pandemic uh, about a year. year so you bought a Jeep then? I bought a Jeep from Jeepers. During pandemic? Um, during the pandemic, yes. It was a good COVID, huh? It was a good COVID. So we didn't travel anywhere, so I was driving a lot. Um, you explored the desert. Explored the desert. It's been phenomenal. Jeepers community is, is one of the best. Uh, I don't drive 
a lot with other communities uh, when I started in the beginning. So I started with Jeepers. It's it's phenomenal. People are great. Um, just supportive. How did you choose to become a marshal? Based on what? You wanted to be a marshal? Uh, not at the beginning. Um, so I started initially, I just wanted to go and have fun. But um, the more that I, I noticed that um, the more experienced you are, you get a lot more, um, you get more ability to drive with people who are more experienced. It was fun as I was uh, getting confident in the desert. I felt like I need to be, have be pushed a little bit more. When we are in um, in the Jeepers drives, based on the rest of the community, yes, um, I thought I didn't have the ability to be able to push myself, and because I have limited time in the desert, so I wanted to make sure that I want to drive with the more experienced drivers. So I decided to see if I can push with and become a marshal. Excellent, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So now you're a support marshal. Yes. So yeah, how absolutely. do you feel? I feel great. Um, I have to have the opportunity to drive with great drivers. This is probably my first drive with the with the marshal, so it's. It's it's phenomenal. I feel excited. It's Amazing. Great. What yeah. do you drive? Uh, the silver uh, JLU nice. uh, Unlimited. Yes. Amazing. Do you like it? I love it. And how's Jeepers Edition with you? Uh, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. A, a few more upgrades because I want to pimp it up a little bit by the rest. The rest because That's I feel like I'm a little bit naked, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should call it the, the Jeepers Edition fever. fever. That's what it's called. <laughs> yes. Yes. I need probably need the winch. Um, uh, inner fenders, nice, rims. Uh, nice. Well, actually, I like the smaller ones to be honest. I, I deflate faster, I inflate faster. True. Um, it's uh, the, the car is lighter. Uh, I feel like I can climb faster, so it, it gives me a lot of benefits <laughs> to be on the yes, yes. Enjoy your it. trip and your journey with the, yeah. the Marshall Day Out. Enjoy it with becoming a Marshal. Inshallah, next time we meet, Absolutely. you'll be a Marshal. Thank you. It was so a pleasure. Much. Likewise, buddy. thank you, thank so, you much. so much. We'll see thank you soon. You this thank is you so Rami. Much. All right, thanks guys. We're recording next. All We're right. about to call Neil. So if you just Neil. can give him the mic. All right, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Here comes Neil. He's you about to join us mic. and we're going to chat to him too. Unplanned, unplanned. This is so unplanned. It's unplanned, right? I don't price. Right on the spotlight. What do you want? Come on in. All right. Neil. Yeah. My name is Rabs. Rabs. And you're you, part buddy? of my episode today, which is Cruising with Rabs which will go on YouTube in a few weeks. It's all good. How are you? Very well, how are you? Great. Uh, you are here because uh, Gary picked you. Okay. So I'm sure he loves you so much. Uh, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, how long has it been with Jeepers? So you're a marshal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we spoke to a support marshal, now we're speaking to a marshal. Very good. Now I joined about it, uh, just over a year ago. A year ago? Yeah. And um, What do you drive? I drive a supercharged JL. I saw the red one. The red one, yes. I love red. Yeah, me too. Well, you have the same. In fact, you have the same bonnet. <laughs> you see? <laughs> uh, beautiful car. I just saw you driving. Excellent stuff. Uh, why did you pick to become a marshal? Um, primarily because when you learn to drive Jeepers, um, you're so well looked after. Yep. And it's such a good experience. And, and being part of the Jeepers experience is all about also giving back and being part of actually helping others. Amazing. Um, and it's just, you know, first of all, it's brilliant coming out in the desert. And then when you're actually seeing other people progress and you can help them, it's just another great feeling. Really. He said something that I love this. It's how to give back. And that's so nice. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? How long have you been in the UAE? Um, in the UAE, been here for just over nine years, but been in the oh. region for 12. Nice. So. Okay. And, um, how many drives do you do all the drives every weekend uh Almost. i do at least i'd say two drives every weekend yeah is it are you a hard uh, teacher do you grade hardly uh i don't say necessarily a grade harshly but i do like to try and give advice so if there's two or three guys driving in front and and i kind of think that there's a little thing little couple of things they can do to you know better manage the throttle control especially over technical dunes I do try and just give that sort of little bit of top tips as they're as they're slipping off and then saying look you know you're putting too much power on just keep it back a little bit and you'll actually stay on the crest nice um, so I think that's probably one of the things that I, that I try and do what's the most memorable memory you have with Jeepers on a Jeepers trip something that really carries a place in your heart you can be uh, a good one and a bad one so you can pick well, I, I tell you, probably the GPS challenge yeah. for me. Well, for me, that was a big step up. So it was the first time that I was leading and we had a team of four. We had a brilliant sort of experience, 
uh, practicing together. Yeah. Uh, there's great camaraderie, um, and you know, just being, you know, in in a, a new environment, yeah. doing a challenge, having, you know, a, a group of guys that that were really really enjoying it was second second to none. Um, on that trip, I did feel very, very bad because I was responsible for, for them. And unfortunately, we had an accident as well on that trip. So, yeah. so I kind of, I, you know, that, that, was, that was not a, a high point. Yeah. But um, at the same time, actually, it was a, a good learning for everybody. So. True. It was a learning. This is what yeah. we did. It, yeah. We can look at it in two ways. We can look at it negatively, positively. Yeah, positively, yeah. it was a learning. We learn. We move forward. We do it better next time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Neil. Enjoy your ride today. Cheers, Have fun. Buddy. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And it's, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Is this we're off camera now? So, so is this your first? No, this is my ninth episode. Okay, very good. <laughs> Not with Jeepers. I'm doing it with many other people. But I picked because Nizar did my second episode, okay. and uh, I told him I want to meet the Jeepers social side this time. Okay, very yep. good. The social side is brilliant as well. Yes, I mean it's just the... it's lovely. Look at I mean, the vibes, the energy is excellent. Yeah, yeah, and and I think that's that's. You know, when people do come out and they, you know, they, they, they make mistakes, it's, it's about allowing people to make mistakes safely. Yeah. Right. And if, if people make a mistake, they know next time what to do differently. Of course. And the challenge is making those little mistakes and not a really big mistake because the really big mistake True. would be excellent a rolling experience. Yes, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> anyway, Kevin, cool. Kevin is next. Okay. So if you just let him know, we'll give him the mic. Thank you. Cheers. I'm just letting you know that anything you say right now is being recorded. I'm just letting you know. I love Jeepers. This is Kevin, our last uh, guest for today. Kevin, hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, very good. So you How were the third you? person that Gary picked for you to be on the show. Oh, okay. So you're part of my show, which is called Cruising with Rabs. And uh, we've spoken about, with Gary about his experience with Jeepers Social. And uh, we picked a support marshal. Mm -hmm. We picked a marshal. And we picked you as a marshal too. Because you've been with Gary for so long. Quickly tell us, how does it feel? How did you get to become a marshal? And do you, how much do you love this sport that you're putting so much effort and energy into it? Oh, I mean, started in 2018. Yep. Um, so first bought the Jeep, did some modifications, stuff like that. Went out to from design. Jeepers. From Jeepers, yes. Yeah. Um, I had a TJ before, which I've modified with Jeepers. Um, that's how I came in to change that to the JK one I have now. Um, started to drive basically every weekend. This again, a big car enthusiast. Yep. Um, love the desert, everything basically. That's with engine and oils, etc. Um, and we've been driving for like half a year nice um, or so on and then the guys actually asked me if I want to be part of the GP social team at that time yeah. as well as be part of the martial team I said yeah why not so we tried it out um, they made him martial after I think like six seven months or was so Gary on. nice to you well Gary is Gary <laughs> <laughs> that's his no, answer no no uh, but, uh, he was nice yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny, it's, it's really like family yeah. feeling. Yes, it um, is. I all, love it. All around you, we're all friendly with each other, everybody helps each other out. Excellent. Etc. Yeah. Give us give us a memorable thing that you always remember, a good one or a bad one from your experiences in all the drives. Something that will always be stuck there. Um, when we broke down both our cars. In the uh, desert? In the desert. So two cars? Yeah. yeah. Well, first Gary, uh, then I did. Um, but. What's really stuck in my head is just the community, how they really take care of each other. Yeah. Oh, so you were um, out with a con with a, with a, we on a drive. convoy, exactly. And then my drive shaft broke in the front. Um, wasn't an Oman trip, to be quite honest. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Gary's car broke down as well, the clutch burned, oh, um, unfortunately. Um, but we quickly packed everything together. J Gary joined me in my car. That's actually how we came to know each other so well. Um, so we drove to Oman for an 11 days trip. Yeah. Um, his car unfortunately broke down, so we were stuck together in a yes. car for like yeah, 10 days then at the time. Um, and then my car broke down later on as well, uh, front drive shaft broke, but everybody came together. We fixed it, make it possible to drive on the road, obviously not off-road. Um, it's just 
nice experience to be quite honest. A uh, shitty situation. Yeah, of course. Um, but, but we made they the community made the it. The community great. made yeah, the best yeah. out of it. And this that's is, really, really uh, This is what I think Jeepers around. Edition is all about. I mean this is what the Jeepers Club is all about, I believe. Correct. Yeah. How many drives have you done so far? We honestly need to check. You never but, thought about it? Well, we've started to do number. some lists, uh, <laughs> hundreds of drives. Wow. Uh, hundreds of drives. Voluntarily, uh, you do voluntarily it every weekend for fun to of it. 18 to 19. Wow. And till March 20, when COVID happened, we were driving three, or let, let's say two to three times a weekend. Um, wow. With Jeepers. Amazing. Keep Lots it up. Drives. Yeah. Keep it up. Good luck. We'll definitely do. I mean, more drives yeah. to go, I guess. Hopefully. Uh, enjoy it. Have fun with you for social. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Love it. Love the mic. Sure. And uh, enjoy your day with the Marshalls. I'm almost, I'm going to drive back anyways. And it was nice driving with you guys. Thank you for your time, Kevin. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you Switching off the mic. So, summary. This is who Jeeper Social is. This is who they are. This is the community. This is the group. This is the community that Nizar built. This is the community that they worked so hard since 2008. Amazing experience, amazing vibes, amazing. It's a fa I, I'm looking at them right now, the laughter, the joy, the coming together is excellent. Seriously, whoever is an off-roader and wants to buy a Jeep Wrangler, Jeepers Edition is your destination. Not because of anything, not because I drive one, it's because honestly they do it right. From the second you purchase the car to the second you use the car, the second you learn how to drive a car in the desert, is what makes them different. Thank you to all of them. Thanks, Jeepers Edition. And uh, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. And uh, so happy uh, that I managed to do this today. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.